Start off with a rounded rectangle with a rounded rectangle tool. Make another one for the screen. Now make a circle for the click wheel. Make another circle for the center button like this. Color it whatever color you want to color it. Type MENU in all caps, Arial, size 8, bold, and dark gray on the top part of the click wheel. Then we'll click this. Make your forward and rewind button 7 pixels tall with two triangles and a line. Make two of them, one on the other side, and it looks like this. Make your pause and play button 7 pixels tall too, with a triangle and two lines, two pixels apart each. Like this. Instead of having a black around it, make it a darker color of your actual iPod. So it looks more realistic, like this. Then put a center line down the middle of the screen. Make your battery 8 pixels tall. It gets light green at the top and then darker at the bottom, and then light dark gray at the top, then lighter at the bottom, and the main part 14 pixels wide. So in the end, it will look like this. But you also have to make it light gray at the top and then gets darker as it goes to the bottom. Because if you look on an actual iPod, it looks like that. Then type iPod, Arial 8, bold, and black in the left part of the gray area. So like this. Then type videos, photos, podcasts, extras, settings, shuffle songs, and now playing. Arial size 8 in bold. Now make a blue bar that shows that the item is selected. They, it's light blue at the top and then gets darker and a little bit lighter at the very bottom. Because on an actual iPod it looks like that too. It should end up looking like this. Then type music in white in the blue bar on the left. Arial 8 bold. So it's the, the music thing. Yeah. So then it'll look like something like this. Then you have to make a white arrow that shows that indicates that the music thing is selected. Seven pixels tall and make it make a point at the end that points to the right. Then it'll look like this. Go to Google Images and search for your favorite album cover. Now paste the album cover. Make sure it's small enough, otherwise it'll get pixelated. Paste it next to your iPod on paint. Then make then edit it so it's the same height as the album slot and the same width as the album slot by selecting the cutting out the album, copy, paste it, and put it next to the iPod so it, you can tell it's the same height. Then the corners will be sticking out, so you have to zoom way in and and um cut out the corners and round them. So then it'll look like this, and that's your iPod. Ta-da!